So given how the future will unfold, or may unfold, so how do we ensure that our economy will work for all Singaporeans? I will basically highlight three areas. One, which is creating better jobs and raising incomes for Singaporeans through upgrading our workers and supporting restructuring, achieving inclusive growth and retirement adequacy, and making sure that workplaces get better and are safer. Firstly, creating better jobs, raising incomes through upgrading and work, uh, the workforce and supporting restructuring. We all know that raising productivity is central to our efforts to create better jobs for Singaporeans. For businesses, it, it means this. You, we need to take a long, hard look at the business models and processes to see how they can produce higher value goods and services and reduce their overall reliance on manpower. The government is fully committed to providing Singaporeans with the fullest support possible to improve their skills through CET. This is a cutting edge and we will support that. We are in the midst of a major review of our CET master plan and we will make our CET system even more relevant for our workers and businesses and to further strengthen the link between training and skills utilisation in the workplace. And this will ensure that our workers will adapt quickly to industry needs and provide Singaporeans with more assistance to achieve their career aspirations. We remain, as a government, committed to fostering inclusive growth. I think much of what we have done, not just this year, but in the last few years, have indicated that that's something that we are placing emphasis on. We want all our citizens to enjoy the fruits of our economic success to achieve, achieve financial security for themselves and their families. Work is the best form of financial security. Our strategy at the broadest level is to keep unemployment low by keeping the economy healthy and thriving so that jobs can be created. At the same time, maintain a tight labour market and encouraging more to work. With increasing life expectancy, many Singaporeans are able and want to work until they are older. As announced in Budget 2014, we will be increasing the CPF employer contribution rates to the MediSafe account for all workers. Older workers will also enjoy further CPF increases, uh, increases to the CPF contribution rates to help them build up more savings for their retirement needs. It is essential that as we carry out these various measures, I think we need to continue to make our workplaces better and safer. We will redouble our efforts to entrench the safety mindset and culture in the workplace. In 2013, we had 59 workplace fatalities. There's a slight increase up from 2012, which is 56. The construction sector continues to be the main contributor to workplace accidents. Now, in the first two months of 2014 alone, we have had nine construction workplace deaths. I think this is quite unacceptable. So we will step up enforcement efforts against errant employers who will face harsh penalties under the law, including imprisonment. But harsh penalties aside, the key to having a safer workplace is really about having a safety culture. It's not just about wielding the big stick, which plays a part but importantly is we must all embrace that mindset. And that's not easy to mandate, but it's something that we will continue to promote. So as we build safe and healthy workplaces, we want to encourage progressive workplace practices as well. So this is the other part, a better workplace. Singaporeans have increasingly indicated strong desires to have a more fulfilling pace of life, more time to pursue other goals and priorities outside of work. Many have called for greater support for flexible work arrangements and more pro-family practices. So we will strengthen our efforts on this front to promote more progressive employment practices to support work-life priorities of Singaporeans. And SPS Hawazi will talk more about this.